Hey, this is Left Technical, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a CD image. So, first thing you're going to do is um, create a new folder, put an icon in that folder, and then put an executional in the folder. Open up the directory. Uh, the executional here is going to be the first thing to boot when the CD image is mounted or the CD is inserted. Um, the icon is uh, that replaces the original drive icon so the user knows what he or she is uh, booting. So we need to create a boot file. So we're going to create a text document, name it to autorun.inf. You really need to make sure that the um, file extension is inf. Okay. The first thing we're going to type in is auto run bracket auto run bracket and then we're going to type in open equals um, I believe pop up dot exe and then we need to reference the icon by saying icon equals smiley dot ico all right then we're going to select all the files right click on a single file go to magic ISO set number of drives make sure it's one and then we're gonna add to new folder UIF and that's gonna create a universal image format image for us and if you want to edit the files in the image or use a different format you wanna go click on this but we're gonna we're gonna do it the quick way for now okay so there's our image we're going to right click on that, go to Magic ISO, mount new folder, and we're going to mount it to the G drive. All right, there you go. It automatic, automatically pops up, and that should just about do it. Um, don't forget that for the file to boot, it has to be an executional. And also, if you want to delete your image, you have to unmount it before you do so. Okay, and we should take a look at the, see if the icon works properly. So we're going to navigate to um, my computer. And you'll see there that the uh, virtual drive here displays the icon properly. And you click on that, and it auto runs um, like it should. Okay, so this is Left Technical. Hope you learned something. See you later.